Hello again. Uh, today I wanted to show you a couple of my most recent purchases and something that I've been looking for for a while. Uh, with my purchase of the DP63 and uh, the DP5V, I got a couple of very, very high level uh, radio radioactive sources and I needed somewhere to store them safely. So I bought these lead pigs. Now I've been trying to buy them from the UK and it just seems that no UK supplier does them, uh, especially this type anyway. You can get your uh, lead glass, but you know, we're talking three or 400 quid for a box, which is probably, you know, about that size. And it's, I just wanted something a bit more practical. So these were $25 and uh, I think it was like nine quid or something to post them. So it was fantastic with eBay's global shipping program, had them in like five days. So what I've got in them, I've got, in this one, I've got Strontium 90, uh, two sources of Strontium 90 from my DP5V and also from my uh, DP63. In this one, I have got the radium dial from the DP63. So both of these are, are huge beta emitters. Um, I think I'm getting about 900 uh, microsieverts from these two. And from the radium dial, I'm getting, with different meters, the most I've got is nine millisieverts. So just having those sitting somewhere or in a box somewhere, it's not good. So I wanted something to bring that beta level way, way down to a more manageable level. So what we're gonna do now, I'm just gonna show you quickly. Uh, that's just slightly higher than background because it is detecting these a wee bit. So seeing as it's beta, um, I'm not too worried about the gamma because they don't really, obviously Strontium 90 doesn't give off any gamma. Well, tiny, tiny bit, but you know, Strontium 90 doesn't usually give off gamma. And the radium dial does give off a bit of gamma, but it's about 120, something like that there. So what I'm gonna do first of all is put it up to this. And as you can see, it's literally not picking up very much more. Uh, 40 microsievert is really nothing to be worried about, especially as it's going to be in a, again, it's going to be in another box on a shelf way above my head. So it's not going to do anything to me. So that's brilliant. So that's gone down from 900 microsieverts to 0.43. I think it just bounced up to there. Yeah, 0.43. So brilliant. Um, and then this is the radium dial. So the radium dial, as I said, is about nine millisievert. And that has brought that down to, let's say seven microsieverts. So that's awesome. Really, really awesome. So really in the grand scheme of things, that has brought this, this down to nothing. Don't have to worry about them at all. And it has brought this down to a similar level that I'm getting from my uh, sort of World War II aircraft display, dial display, uh, radium watch display. I'm like, actually, hold on, I'll do a jump cut and I'll show you my display. So I keep all my pitch blend on display in these plastic boxes and uh, I'm getting very, very similar levels to uh, my box down there. So I just keep some of my little radium bits and pieces and couple of survey meters and things like that there. But, right, back to the pigs. Okay, I just wanna do a little test. I'm gonna take the lid off and just show you a comparison with obviously how much this is shielding. So I'm not gonna do the radium dial because, well, it, it is, it's just, it's, it's a ridiculous piece of radium. And uh, I think it's better off just leaving it where it is. So we'll do the strontium 90 instead. So background in the shed has dropped to 0.18. So I'll do an outside just to show you again. And as you can see, there is literally no beta at all. And then with the lid off. It jumps up to 12. And then with them actually out, I'll do the strongest one. So that's what I'm protecting myself from. Yeah, definitely a good idea to have these.
So yeah, uh, I think these were pretty handy to get and uh, you know, I didn't pay too much for them and I think anybody who has uh, radioactive sources should definitely invest in something like this. Uh, you know, if you have a big metal, I mean, Weapons of Stuff 93 has a huge big gun safe and he keeps his stuff in and if he's safe with the amount of stuff that he has, then I think he's doing a good job. So for me here in the shed, uh, with just a couple of bits and pieces that I have, I think something like this here is perfect for a small collection. And I do feel a lot safer with these. But listen, just wanted to show you these quickly. And as always, thank you very, very much for watching. And I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.